Hi, welcome to High Road. My name's Andrew, and in this Pro Tools quick tip, I'm going to show you how to set up a brand new session in Pro Tools if you're a beginner. Okay, first thing we're going to do is open up Pro Tools on the computer like that. Okay, so when Pro Tools opens, this is the dashboard screen that you get greeted with. If you don't have this, if that's not showing, you can go up to the file menu and go create new. And there's the dashboard. So first thing we want to do is name our track. So I'm going to call this one uh, Song 1. Now down here we have all our choices for the Pro Tools session. So for file type, we want to choose WAV file. That's the standard audio format that is used for all recording. AIFF works pretty much the same, but it's not the standard. So now we come to bit depth and we've got three choices here. We've got 16-bit, 24-bit and 32-bit. For 90% of audio recording purposes, 16-bit is the right choice. It's a good trade-off between audio resolution and file size. When we go up to 24-bit, the resolution is higher, but so is the file size on your hard drive. It uses about double the amount of storage. And most people can't hear the difference between 16-bit and 24-bit audio anyway. The only place where you can maybe hear it is on the, the quiet sections of classical music. Um, at, at very low levels, 16-bit, some people say it sounds a bit grainier, whereas 24-bit sounds crystal clear at those very low levels. Um, but if you're recording everything reasonably loud, which in pop music you are, pop music, rock music, pretty much anything that's contemporary music and commercial, it's all going to be recorded at much higher levels. And 16-bit and 24-bit will give you the same advantages. 32-bit is obviously even higher resolution again, way more hard drive space. And the only people who really use that would be mastering engineers. So if that's not you, I wouldn't worry about it. Let's just stick to 16-bit as a good choice. Now over here at sample rate, we can choose uh, between lots of different options. 44.1 is also considered the industry standard for audio. Um, 48 kilohertz is considered the industry standard for film. So if you record a video on your phone or on any kind of camera and then look at the, the video file later, you'll find that the audio has been coded in 48 kilohertz. So if you're planning on recording audio and using it in a video package, it's probably better to record it at 48 kilohertz because it saves you having to convert something later. Um, but if you're just recording it for pure audio purposes, like a commercial music recording, maybe just choose 44.1. Now these other choices, 88.2 and 96, um, those are getting up into very high resolutions again, more hard drive space. Um, mastering engineers tend to prefer these kilohertz ranges, but if you're just recording music, I'd probably stick to 44.1 or 48. This one here, the I.O. settings, I'm just going to choose the last one I used because I know that that'll be fine. And down here, the location button lets me choose a place to save my song. I've already done that, so I'm happy to press create. And there's my brand new Pro Tools session. Okay, that's where I'm going to leave this video for now. But if you want to learn more, if you want to learn how to add tracks to your Pro Tools session, such as audio tracks, click tracks, MIDI tracks, or reverb tracks and effects, um, check the description below for links to those. As always, if you want to learn how to make music, record music, and build musical stuff, start now by subscribing below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.